The Hughes, for which the Hughes Aircraft Company is named, is of course Howard Hughes, an aviation pioneer who created racing planes, produced movies like Hell's Angels using real planes, and of course was responsible for the Spruce Goose, the huge transport plane made largely of wood to save strategic war materials. It flew only one time in 1947 and is now a museum. Tucson realtor and developer Roy Drachman led the fight to bring Hughes Aircraft to Tucson, negotiating not with Howard Hughes himself, but with executives who carried on his tradition of secrecy. The airport and went up to the hotel and we were talking and all of a sudden he, he shut everybody and said, wait a minute, he said, is this, is this room secure? I said, well, I think it's secure. It's not going to fall off the building. Well, he was talking about the security of, a, of the... Uh, of the possibility of somebody listening in. So they immediately went behind the drapes and under the beds and up in the chandeliers. And uh, then he said, uh, we'd spread our stuff on the bed and looking at the maps and things. And he said, well, let's all pick up our stuff. We'll go to the back of a restaurant someplace. And we did. And Hughes workers started with the production of the world's first air-to-air -air radar guided weapon, the Falcon missile. Over the years, many others would follow, the Phoenix and the tow missiles, the Maverick missile family, AMRAM, the advanced medium-range air-to-air missile. In 1986, Hughes was purchased by General Motors for $5 billion. That year, employment would hit an all-time high, 9,000 workers. But that was then, and this is now. With the Cold War over, Hughes finds itself in a difficult situation. The U.S. defense budget is shrinking and competition is increasing for the defense contracts that are awarded. Hughes finds itself looking seriously at diversification. So we build computers and trackers primarily. That's where the bulk of our expertise is. And wherever we can use that kind of expertise, uh, we're looking. The new projects will take some time to get online. In the meantime, four of the six missiles now made at Hughes will be discontinued in 1992. At that time, the current workforce of about 5,000 will be cut. If we keep people employed when we don't have real work, then that reduces our ability to be competitive. Downsize may be the key word for Hughes Aircraft in the 1990s, but for those who worked to bring the company here in the 1950s, Hughes has been and still is an important part of Tucson's economy. Tucson's a better place for, the, for Hughes having come here and brought the kind of people that they did. And as far as into the future, uh, uh, the company is now owned by General Motors and they're certainly a wide awake company with <laughs> a great past and a great future and I'm sure that they're going to they've got a big investment here and I'm sure they're going to find products and ways of keeping this operation going.